Hello, everyone. My name is Davion Grigsby. I am the community technologist here at Do Oh, at Do Space, excuse me. And today I'm going to go over some basics and pretty unique fe features involving the Apple Watch. Quick little overview. I'm going to go over the history. There's three different types of watches: how to remove the band, uh, faces, which is like a background or lock screen, uh, physical activity readings, how to remove liquid, water, anything of that nature, uh, the Find My Out find my iPhone feature and communication from actually on the watch and the watch app itself. So just a quick little history. Uh, the Apple Watch has not been around forever. Came out in about September of 2014. It was the first version of Apple's of a wearable, kind of a wearable Apple product. And since then, it's really just took the market by storm. I'm pretty sure if it's not number one, it may be two or three in top like watch accessories. Uh, sold about 33 million in devices in 2015. So right here, we have some of the watches. Uh, the first watch we have is just a regular like normal Apple watch. The second one is more designed for like exercise. It's a Nike base. They collab with Nike and done like more of a sports watch, which is kind of brighter, more interactive, uh, just kind of picks up things if you're working out, running, anything of that nature. And then the last one is the watch. It says watch edition, but there's like another name for it. it's called, look at my notes, the Hermes, H-E-R-M-E-S. And this one comes in like an 18 karat gold, yellow gold or rose gold. Uh, and it comes with more of like more of an expensive like watch band, which is kind of like that blue right there. You can get it swapped out for something more of your liking. So all these watches though have the same features, same kind of readings, and can do the same functions. This I would say these two probably stand out more because this one you get I would say more unique bands that are like brighter, more fun, more edgy, and it's kind of more Nike oriented. This one, on the other end, is more like I would say a big business meeting, like if you wanted to show off a nice watch or accessory, this would kind of be the way you might want to go with that. The price in each of these watches do vary with the accessories you get and just the series. I know currently we are on series five. I own a series two, so I'm a little behind the curve because they are expensive, like I said, but maybe in the future, I'll get back up to date with the current watch. Removing the watch, man. So, Removing a watch band, you have to be careful. You can't just like yank it out. Otherwise, you will definitely damage that area or break the watch altogether. So right here, there's a button. If you flip your watch over, there's a button on both the top and bottom. Uh, so you're going to want to press that button. But while pressing the button, you're going to want to hold, hold it while you're sliding out the band itself to change it out. And you just slide it to the left or right, depending on how you have your watch oriented and it should just pop right out. Sometimes it's a little tug, but you gotta be gentle with it because it does get stuck in there sometimes, which is normal, but it will pop out. And if you're gonna put it back in, you just slide it right back in until you hear a click. And that's how you go about changing it. You can get Apple Watch bands almost anywhere, I'm pretty sure. Uh, just varies and it kind of depends on how much you're wanting to spend. I know with my current watch, I just have the ones, I just have the one that came with the watch, so. Didn't really, I really wasn't a big watch band person. Didn't really catch my eye like that, like everyone else has. <clears throat> Excuse me. Faces. So with faces, it's basically the lock screen display slash lock screen on the watch. So like right here, you have this one's kind of more of a old school style watch. Uh, I would say this one remind the Hermes. So it's just the one I mentioned earlier. This is the Nike one, then I'm pretty sure this is the regular one. And with the watch face, you can have different functions on it. So like right there, we have music. You have like NYC, I'm pretty sure it's like a time zone thing, temperature outside, calendar, the three, the rings, which is your activity rings, even the UV light outside, which is really cool. And you can even make a call. Like we have right here on this last one to someone else. You can even have display like I have right here at the Miles Wall. Or if you if you're cooking something, you can have like a countdown. <clears throat> excuse me, countdown clock in the corner somewhere. 
physical activities and reading. So me being a former athlete, I really, I like, I really like this feature of the watch. So this feature will let you, let me, let me backtrack a little bit. This feature will do a lot of things for you. So if I'm just sitting here and I just, you know, just playing a game or anything or doing some work and I just kind of like stop breathing for at least two seconds, the watch would immediately notify notify you quickly like hey uh you stop breathing take take a deep breath or if i've been sitting down too long it will even tell you to stand up walk around loosen your legs a little bit which is really unique another thing that's really huge is you can see your heart rate so you can see like the current heart rate resting heart rate what it is if you're walking or running so like an example could try have says 68 beats per minute this is done for the back if you turn the watch orders about four little glass i don't know what to call it i would say like circular reading readers and they um one of them emit a, like a light that will pick up on your heart rate while it's on your uh, wrist so that's how it's able to tell your your bpm or your the heart rate and the bpm another feature which is only in the newer watches is the ecg which stands for electrocardiodiogram and what that does is it will pick up on a regular heartbeat, which is basically like just watching what you do while it's on your wrist. So if it picks up anything re weird, I know when I updated my watch, it said that I want this on there. If I had any ir irregular heartbeats in the past or anything of that nature, so I had kind of set that setting to no because I didn't want it to trigger off them calling emergency services because they will do that if you set it to, if it picks up on a regular heartbeat. And that's, like I mentioned before, the rings. So every morning when I put my watch on, these rings will give you like a goal, like you need to take this many steps, walking, running, moving up and down a flight of stairs, which is pretty cool. And at the end of the day, when I used to be a delivery driver, all these rings would be complete and beyond completed because I would do so much moving around. So pretty much it's just trying to get people to stay active in this world liquid removal so with this this is probably one of the coolest features i personally like on the watch is the liquid removal or the water removal so you're going to want to swipe up on the bottom of the screen which will bring up kind of all these other options and there will be a water water droplet and with that water droplet you're going to want to click on it then this right here will pop up turn digital crown to lock and eject water <clears throat> So this will lock your, your your Apple Watch for a little bit, but it's not like a permanent lock or something you can't get out of. So the digital crown is gonna be the, the knob that turns on the watch and you would just keep turning it. And when you keep turning it, I'm gonna grab my watch, it's right next to me. It's going to tell you to keep turning it, then it'll make a sound. Pretty much like that. And be annoying. It won't. The sound itself will not stop unless you continue. If, unless you keep turning the wheel, then it'll just spray out. <laughs> but yeah, it will shoot out some water if it's like an excess amount. So just to let everyone know that the Series Two Apple Watch and on up are water resistant and to a certain amount. But the Series 1 watch, I'm, I know I was reading, was not really water resistant at all. So I wouldn't try it with that if anyone does have a Series 1 watch anymore. Okay, so a uh, little error on, oops, error on my part. This, this is what the water was supposed to, the example I was going to have. It just got put onto the wrong slide, which is totally my fault. So sorry about that. Hope it doesn't cause any confusion. But if you're watching, you can see kind of what it does. So it fills up right there, then it just shoots it out. But this page is called Find My iPhone. So this page is dedicated to, I know I've lost my phone like numerous times in the car, in my house. So if you're driving and it gets like wedged under your seat, once you get parked, you can just hit this button which is the same thing as the water removal button you just swipe up tap that and that will set off a sound that will help you like kind of locate your phone it won't give you a direct location but it'll play that sound and that helps and that helps 
anyone, I'll help anyone kind of troubles, not troubleshoot. Yeah, troubleshoot kind of where it could be or its whereabouts. Let's see. Communication. So the fun, okay, so I'm going to tell, tell myself a little bit. I know back earlier in my college days, I did have my Apple Watch and like Sometimes teachers would be kind of strict like no phones during presentation. I would kind of have my watch and you can type on your watch scribble or kind of like whisper into it like what, what time were we meeting for lunch or did you want to hang out after class or meet up and work on a presentation together. Also on the iPhone or excuse me, the Apple Watch, you can answer calls, FaceTime calls. You definitely can't answer or it'll let you answer, but it'll tell you directly like to get on your phone to like be able to communicate with that person but the apple watch you can answer a call just by clicking that button or it gives you the option to answer on the iphone itself the watch app so this right here i'm going to actually switch to my camera so i can show you guys the actual watch app so here is the watch app that is associated with the apple watch so here we have my faces. So here is a variation of different faces. I know there's a Mickey Mouse. You can just make it normal. It's Nike, some with my family or your family, friends. Um, you also have complications, notifications, just pretty much standard here. Oops, I play out. So this is how it would look. So I can like, I can move this around if I wanted to. These are just all the apps I have on my watch personally. Doc is kind of like, is, excuse me, is that uh, when you hit the kind of the longer button under the scroll button, it'll just kind of arrange how you want things to be. For this one, we have the Breathe app, which is if you basically stop breathing, it'll kind of tell you to take a breath per minute or something along those lines. The Heart Health. Uh, we've got the walkie talkie, which is a cool feature. I have one of my friends here. We've got the dual factorization app. These are apps that you can install, but I wouldn't recommend that due to the fact it takes up a lot of memory. Uh, activities like if you're moving, just doing, just being normal, you know, walking, running, I'll just notify you of the activity that's going on. Emergency SOS has my contacts and people I want to be notified if there's an emergency ever. Uh, oh, I forgot the passcode. So you can turn it on and make one if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. But yeah, it's pretty much this is the Apple Watch app that's associated with the app. Uh, you do all your updates through here, so we can check and see if I have one right quick. Oh, software update. I don't think I do, but it never hurts to check. See, everything's all set. So that's the Apple Watch and the app. The Apple Watch is just another great feature of Apple. It mirrors basically almost the iPhone, just a few little small things that the iPhone can't do possibly yet. That's kind of everything I had to talk about regarding Apple Watches. I know it's just kind of a short one, but I'm Dave John Grigsby with Do Space, and I think we don't have any questions, so I'm going to let everyone go, and everyone have a good day.